subscriber. Thank you so much for coming back here to watch my videos. Thank you for the support. Thank you for everything. God bless you. But if you're new here, you are welcome. Please, before you leave this channel, make sure you subscribe. And when you subscribe, please click the notification bell so that you'll be the first one to be notified whenever I upload a new video. So friends, today's video is a story time and I'm so excited guys to share with you this story of today which is all about online dating. But guys, from this story of today, you are going to learn a lot of things because it has got a lot of teachings, very juicy, full of drama, and for those who are online dating apps, searching for love, this story of today is just perfect for you. So stick here, watch it till the end. Don't watch it half because you will not understand anything and you won't be able to get those tips which are so important for you, which will help you to know how to go about online dating. But not only that, guys, as you can see, my makeup is not done yet. So as I'm giving you the story, I'll be finishing up my makeup. So let us start our story right now. So friends, today's video is about a lady called Lynette. Lynette is Kenyan and she's 26 years old. I came to know Lynette when I did a video like two months has passed and then Lynette came into my DM, wrote me something about her past, about, but this message was short. She was telling me about how she had a very bad experience dating this guy and I told her I am so sorry. So she told me I really enjoyed your video because I could relate to the experience that I had. So we finished there and months passed by. Then recently I remembered her and I was like, wait a minute. I want to contact Lynette so that I can talk to her if she can be comfortable and share with me this story like in full so that I can share it with my viewers. They can get to learn something out of it because I know most of you, my viewers are online dating sites. You really enjoy these videos about online dating sites, interracial dating. So that is why I contacted Lynette and I asked her to share with me her story. So, so when Lynette got my message, she told me, Bella, <laughs> I smiled and I was so happy that you asked me to share with you my story. And I also said, oh my God, so Bella's stories are real. I thought these stories, she just make them. <laughs> so Bella, your stories are real. I told her, yes, they are real. So she accepted, but she told me I'm a bit embarrassed about this story because I even never met the guy. I told her, you shouldn't be embarrassed because you know, guys, as ladies, we have made a lot of mistakes in our lives, especially when it comes to relationships. Only few ladies, the lucky ones, that they start dating a guy and he is the one. That's it. <laughs> Till they leave this world, he is the one. You don't go through those challenges of finding the one. But for those who have gone through a lot of challenges to find the one, they know how you can make a lot of mistakes. So I told her you shouldn't be embarrassed. Even I have made a lot of mistakes when it comes to relationships in the past. So she started telling me the whole story of how it all started. So friends, in order for you to understand this story very well, we have to go back a little bit before Lynette joined online dating apps. So Lynette was dating a Nigerian guy in Kenya. This Nigerian guy was living in Kenya and they dated for one year. So after a year, Lynette came to know that she was pregnant and she decided to share the news to the boyfriend who is responsible. And the boyfriend was not happy. When he heard the news, he got very furious and told Lynette, you know what? I don't want you anymore. I don't want to hear anything about this pregnancy and left Lynette for another woman. Very sad guys, but that is what happened. So after the Nigerian guy left Lynette, Lynette decided to return to her parents' house cause she couldn't manage to pay the rent. So when she arrived at her parents' house, she was really scared 
to tell the parents that she was pregnant because the pregnancy was still little but as you know the belly grows as time goes there is no way you can hide it so eventually she decided to tell her mom that she was pregnant and that is why she decided to return home there is no way she was going to hide the belly though she was so scared that the parents might disown her you know our african parents <laughs> but eventually Lynette decided to share the news to her mom but her mom was not angry about it told Lynette that don't worry we are going to take care of you and the whole pregnancy when the baby is born you're going to take care of this baby so don't worry just be at peace another thing that you guys need to know about Lynette's family is that Lynette is from those families which are blessed meaning they are financially stable the father has got a very good job and the mother as well so taking care of her and the baby wasn't a problem so Lynette stayed at her parents house and five months passed and then the pandemic started the lockdown started so Lynette couldn't go out to meet people friends it was like a lonely moment if you could remember people were frustrated people lost their jobs due to this pandemic so Lynette was affected too because in her condition she would like to go out meet friends meet new people but she couldn't due to the lockdown restrictions I'm working on my eyes now so friends uh, one day Lynette was talking to a friend and as they were talking, Lynette told this friend that she feels lonely and she wanted someone to be by her side, a man in her life. Also, she told me because she was 25 years old, she wanted to have her own family, like get married and start life, a successful life with a man by her side because <laughs> she told me in our african society when you're 25 years old they expect a lot from you they want you to get married have kids you know have your own life because <laughs> that is when they start seeing that you're getting old so lynette was thinking of that and also due to the lockdown she felt lonely so she wanted someone she shared her thoughts with this friend of hers then this friend of hers told her you know what because right now there is this lockdown restrictions uh it's better you join online dating sites maybe you will be lucky you might find someone there so Lynette accepted and decided to join the dating site she joined this site called interracial cupid so she chatted with different men for some time and one day she got an email from a guy from Norway called George and George was very cute, <laughs> very educated. He was a doctor, just finished medical studies. So George was very interested in Lynette and they started emailing each other because they were using email to communicate and Lynette immediately told George that I have a baby but mind you guys Lynette was pregnant <laughs> so they kept on communicating every day and things were really getting very very well they were really liking each other every day every day so after one month they decided to leave the site and exchanged phone numbers started skyping started video calls because on the side they couldn't video call so they decided to video call see each other and Lynette was so happy so Lynette decided that she is going to tell George about the pregnancy situation on camera <laughs> so that she can look at George's eyes when she tells him the truth so George called and Lynette told him that, you know what, there is something I want to tell you. Now I think it's better I tell you the truth of what is going on, what is my situation. So <laughs> she told him that I told you that I have a kid, but actually that kid is not born yet. <laughs> I'm still carrying that kid. <laughs> 
So George was kind of serious when she was telling him when she was telling him the whole situation of the pregnancy, but afterwards George told Lynette that don't worry, it's okay, I'll take care of that kid because I like you, I love you, I want to be with you. So it's not a problem, don't worry about it. So they continued their relationship. So after knowing George for two months, Lynette decided to introduce George to her parents and she started with her mom, you know, <laughs> our moms are our best friends. So she introduced George to her mom. Her mom was so happy and the mom told the dad afterwards about about George the parents were really really happy about it they asked lots of questions you know <laughs> this online dating thing is not so much common <laughs> in our African society but Lynette's parents I can say they are those modern parents they understood her and supported the whole relationship so they kept on communicating every day and they could share each other everything that they do. If Lynette goes to the saloon, she will call George and show him that I am at the saloon, look what I'm doing, like share the activities, you know, when you're in a long distance relationship and George could do the same. And George could do the same if he goes out maybe to the supermarket he could call Lynette and tell her that I am at the supermarket. If he is at work, he could video call Lynette and show her that Lynette is at office. So they could video call each other and share the daily activities, which was really good and kept them together, made their relationship and go strong and stronger. But guys, remember Lynette introduced George to her parents, but George never introduced Lynette to his parents which is very strange kind of strange but George told Lynette that I don't live with my parents they are separated everyone is living a separate life that is the excuse George gave to Lynette so Lynette understood and you know when you are in love guys sometimes you are blinded you don't see things clearly that is why I always insist that even if you are madly in love please open your eyes don't accept don't allow yourself to be blinded by love please it's better to be a little bit careful for your own safety <laughs> to protect your heart you know so friends time went by and one day george called lynette told her that he is very anxious very scared terrified because he's thinking of sharing the news of lynette to the family because the family knew that George wasn't dating anyone in fact George told Lynette when they started the relationship that he has been single for a lot of years many years he has been single so he was scared that how would the parents react about him dating an African lady him dating someone who is far and this online dating situation but Lynette told George that don't worry, you just go ahead and tell them because eventually they need to know that I exist. <laughs> and the good thing about this couple guys is that they used to share like everything, everything. The good, the bad, the worst, everything guys. So that is why George told Lynette that he was so anxious to share the news. So George decided to share the news first to his brother he had a twin brother and the news to his brother and his brother was like no problem it's okay if you are happy that is all what matters don't worry he was so happy that the brother has accepted the relationship so the time to tell his mother arrived <laughs> and they went for dinner with his mother then after dinner George decided to talk to his mother and tell her that he has a girlfriend <laughs> so when he told the mother that I have a girlfriend the mother was so happy started smiling you know asking about this girl how she looks like <laughs> the mother was very very excited and then George told the mother that this girl is African and she is in Africa she has a kid 
the mother immediately started no 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 way it can't be how can you date someone from africa these african ladies are not good they just use you for money they'll just come here and then afterwards dump you i don't accept the whole idea i don't support it if you want an african lady like a black lady take those black ladies who are here they are they are already here in Norway, but not someone who is in Africa. The mother was really upset about this whole relationship of George and Lynette. Guys, can you imagine? Like I told you last time, I don't know why. If it is not the girl's part, then it is <laughs> the man's part. Because this time it was... It was the part of the man whereby they don't accept the girl. The mother does not accept this African lady. And she's judging this lady whom she doesn't know. That is really, really wrong. So George told Lynette about everything, how the mother reacted. And then Lynette was kind of disappointed, told George that, but George, have I ever asked you money? Your mother is scared that maybe I might use you for money. But have I ever asked you money? Because the mother even brought up the stories of those African ladies who use white men to come to Europe just for money or they just ask to be sent money. She also talked about the Norwegian old ladies going to Africa to take men and sometimes they are scammed. She told him a lot of bad stories so that she can change his mind and he shared everything to Lynette. But Lynette told George that, George, you know me, we have been chatting for quite some time. I have never asked you money and I'm not planning to do so. So I don't think what your mother told you should bother you. So they talked about it, but George was kind in a confusion about this whole situation, but their relationship continued, guys. Then guys, came another challenge when George decided to share the news to his father. Remember, he first talked to his mother. So when he shared the news to his father, his father was like, no, I want you to date a lady who is a doctor or an advocate or a lawyer. The father was very, very interested in titles. The father wanted the son to marry a lady who has one of those titles. Either the lady should be a doctor or should be an engineer or, or should be a lawyer or an advocate but for Lynette it was way way different because Lynette started journalism at the university so it is not what the father wanted so that is another challenge not only that guys George liked to play games. Like I told you, these white men can have strange hobbies. So one of the strange hobby that George had, he liked playing these games, video games with his friends. So there is this friend of George who was very, very jealous that George is spending a lot of time talking to Lynette, not playing with him. <laughs> and to add on, she's an African lady. <laughs> who has a kid so it was worse 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 on George's side everyone was confusing him and he was sharing this with Lynette that I am really confused my friend is telling me this the dad is saying this then the mother is not totally accepting this relationship so they kept on with their relationship talking every day but George started changing he could not call like he used to call. He could not message her like he used to message her. And this started disturbing Lynette and asked George, what is going on? Have you changed? And George told Lynette that don't worry, nothing has changed. I still love you. I still want to be with you. And they started planning on how to meet because six months had passed since they started communicating. They decided to plan on how to meet and organize, trying to see if George can get time because George was working, but Lynette at that time, she had her baby, she had a baby girl, guys. So my Nigerian friends, you have your auntie in Kenya. <laughs> your brother has let you down, my dear friends. Why abandon this girl? Why? So she had her baby girl and uh, Lynette told me 
George really loved this baby so much that he could call and sing for the babies, play a dad's figure, you know guys, which made Lilith love George more and more. So guys, about uh, planning to meet, they planned to meet but unfortunately George could not get a free time and Lynette could not travel at that moment because remember she has got a small baby so that was kind of setback for them and not only that guys the pandemic situation <laughs> traveling restrictions so it was not easy for them the relationship continued until one day George told Lynette that there is this lady doctor. He was supposed to supervise this lady doctor. And so when George told Lynette, Lynette was like, how is she? Is she cute? And all that, you know. And wanting to know about this lady doctor. She was actually a student, you know, a student doctor. <laughs> they call them doctor. <laughs> So George told her that oh, she's cute, yes, and she's really nice. She has been bringing, uh, she has, oh my God, I made a mistake. Okay, I'll correct that later. So this lady doctor was bringing snacks, like she's trying to impress someone. <laughs> Lynette started feeling a little bit strange about this lady doctor george assured her not to worry he loves her so much so they continued their relationship but guys george could say that he still loves lynette but guys in real sense george had changed completely he could not call lynette like he used to do he could not message her like he used to message and it's lynette sometimes who could look for george so things had changed completely like they used to be and Lynette felt about it. Guys, if you have your boyfriend and then your boyfriend changes, immediately you will know. You know, we ladies, we have that, I think it's intuition that you feel like something is not going right. Something must be wrong somewhere. We always feel that and it is always right. So that is how Lynette was feeling and eventually then one day this lady doctor invited george out for pizza <laughs> george went and when george returned talked to lynette and told her that oh this lady was trying to seduce me then lynette told george did you cheat on me george was like no but the way lynette was looking at george it's like he was not comfortable looking at her on camera, which means he had cheated on her. Their relationship had reached eight months, guys. Eight months still chatting and all these things were happening. Remember, the family does not support the relationship and then there is this new lady doctor that is trying to cause trouble. <laughs> trying to cause trouble, guys. <laughs> So Lynette started getting very strange feelings about this whole relationship of George and this lady doctor and George started having a lot of night shifts <laughs> which we don't know if they were true or not but he could be at night shifts so much and he could not call Lynette like he used to call but now he's not calling Lynette to tell her that Lynette I'm back from work and all that calls later when he wakes up and start telling her that i was so tired that is why i could not call you but guys wasn't he tired before why tired now so lynette started getting these strange feelings and afterwards was like i want to test this i want to test george and tell him that i want to leave you and let's end the relationship because i don't trust you anymore so when lynette told george then george was like you know i think it's time we part ways i was planning to tell you this for so long because i have someone in my life right now and this has been confusing me before of whom to choose so now i'm with someone else so i cannot be with you 
that is the end of me and you you're just a nice person but i think we should break up so <laughs> this guy i don't really understand him till now maybe he was waiting for lynette to tell him that let's end the relationship so that they can end the relationship or or he is a type of a narcissist whom you know a narcissist can never accept <laughs> to be dumped he must make sure it is him who dumps you <laughs> so when George told Lynette that let's end this relationship I don't want to be with you anymore I am with someone else my heart belongs to someone else Lynette started crying and started telling George that please give me a chance let's get back together but George insisted that I cannot continue this relationship with you let it be the end but Lynette cried so much and begged George that please let us not end this relationship please please then George told Lynette that give me one week then I'll give you an answer then after a week it was the same answer no 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 i cannot get back to you but guys after george had told lynette that it cannot work it's over lynette felt like the whole world was falling on her lynette felt like she cannot live anymore because she attached herself emotionally to george george was everything to her so this destroyed her so much emotionally physically because she was not taking care of herself she even started questioning her personality telling herself very very bad words that maybe i am ugly why is this happening to me why did this guy leave me for another lady what is wrong with me she was very disappointed and destroyed very destroyed guys so guys that was the end of lynette and george's relationship can you imagine guys eight months of a relationship you invest your time you invest your emotions you invest everything everything guys but in the end a guy tells you that i cannot be with you it's over my heart belongs to someone else it hurts so much after lynette had shared her story with me i asked her to give an advice for a lady who is online searching for love of course guys something else you need to know lynette is still online searching for love she has not given up and right now she has experience already so she knows how to go about it and by the help of friends and i also told her that i am here if she needs help i'm here to help her because i also have a bit of experience on that so guys lynette's advice number one was never ever ever attach yourself emotionally to a guy you meet online before you meet in person never because if you do that mistake then you are finished if the relationship is done then you are going to be very very bad which will even affect your health which will even affect people around you which will affect everything about your life so never ever attach yourself emotionally to a guy you meet online never advice number two don't chat with a man online for so long three months maximum before you decide how to meet because if you chat for so long other things can come in between so it's better for you to meet as early as possible and each one of you should be able to make a sacrifice of meeting if it is you you should make a sacrifice to meet this guy if it is him so this decision should be made by the two of you but you should make sure you meet in person don't chat with a guy for one year six months online eventually that relationship is going to end make sure you meet number three if you're chatting with a guy online please please look at how mature the man is as you can see guys george was not mature enough why he allowed himself to be manipulated 
by the father, by the mother, by the friend, by this lady doctor. So this is an evidence enough to show you that George was not mature enough. So just be careful about how this man is mature. Because if a guy is not mature, it means he is not ready yet to have a family. Because a man who can have a family shouldn't be manipulated. He should stand on his own. Advice number four, which is the last from Lynette, is that no matter what happens with a guy that you're chatting online, never ever question your personality. You are beautiful. You are strong you are loved tell yourself all those beautiful words that you would love a person to tell you tell yourself those never question your personality take care of yourself and also this one i talked about it in my last video if you are online chatting with a white man or any man make sure you have something that you are doing like hobbies keep you busy so that if this relationship doesn't work out you have things to do but if you just tie yourself to this man if this relationship ends then it means that's the end of you you're going to be very very miserable so make sure you keep yourself busy while chatting with this guy that you're chatting with so guys that is the end of today's story i hope you learned a lot of things from this story of today thank you so much for watching this video till now i really appreciate much god bless you if you've liked this video please give it a thumbs up share it with your friends family everyone that you think will enjoy this video and learn something watch my other videos too i love you so much guys you're always here in my heart let us meet in my next video ciao ciao Mwah.